All right, Winter Glow is on at Young Dundas Square. So this is an activation in the square to get people to come down, uh, experience rides. There's a whole bunch of concession stands. Listen, why don't you want to go when there's cotton candy and popcorn and churros and hot chocolate? Uh, that's a 45-foot Ferris wheel, and uh, it's adding to, of course, all of the excitement of the lights that are already at Young Dundas Square. There's also a Remembrance Tree, by the way. There it is right there on the left-hand side. Uh, this is the Rotary Club of Toronto's Tree of remembrance you can make a donation write a message on a yellow ribbon to honor the memory of a loved one and of course rotary club of toronto donates over a million bucks to local community groups each year so it's a win-win right you get churros and you get to help uh, local charities and temperatures running well above seasonal like i mean overnight lows should be around minus seven for this time of year we're dropping to just two degrees overnight tonight and back up to six tomorrow so uh, these temperatures make it pretty decent to head out uh, to Young Dundas Square. Now, current temperatures still hanging on to 8 degrees right now. Uh, there is some cooler air. It's across the southern prairies right now. This will be here Monday afternoon. So until that, though, we're going to be into this warm sector or this mild sector uh, before the cold front comes through. And yes, that precipitation is slowly heading our way as well. It's not going to get here tomorrow. The cloud is here tomorrow, so you can say goodbye to the sunshine that we had today. That's uh, pretty much not going to be here at all this weekend. We've got overcast conditions tomorrow, but tomorrow's the drier of the two days. So this is your excellent day to travel around, get errands done, get shopping done. But like, who wants to go to the mall on a Saturday <laughs> during the holidays? Not me. Uh, however, if you do have to because you haven't even started your shopping yet, then Saturday's the better of the two days to do it. Sunday, walk with the umbrella and plan extra travel time. Uh, around 7, 8 in the morning, we have light rain starting, heavier through the afternoon. That's indicated by the darker greens there. And even though this is about 5 to 10 millimeters for Toronto, that's the green. As you move east towards Belleville and over to Kingston, Cornwall and Ottawa and even Montreal, they're talking about significantly higher amounts of rainfall through eastern Ontario. Now, once we get through Sunday rain, Here's what's going to happen. There's Monday morning. We may actually get some breaks from the precipitation. And then uh, pink, that's your rain-snow mix for the drive home on Monday. And snow squalls by Monday night. So traditional snow belts prepare for... Uh, some good snow. Ski hills love the sound of that as temperatures will be falling through the day on Monday. Uh, snow could even be about trace to two centimeters across the GTA by early Tuesday morning. And if you have to stand out of the bus stop, boy, oh boy, you got to bundle up again on Tuesday as those double digits are into the minus, uh, yeah, 11 range.